Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test Tech, I'm Josh. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to build the FT Dual Entry. Now this FT Dual Entry is an absolute blast, especially when you're flying with your friends with either Tiny Whoops or Emacs Tiny Hawks. These dual entries are specifically designed to give you a great experience, but also to teach you how to really center up on a target and be able to fly through. Practicing on things like these dual entries, whether you're in the classroom or with your best friends, is really good because it's gonna teach you how to line up and hit gates very well. You and your friends can buddy up and have four drones flying in two different teams to be able to have a time trial to see which team wins and gets the most paddles on the other side. This dual entry only takes about 15 minutes to build. The materials you're gonna need is a hot glue gun, a pair of scissors, and maybe some markers or some tape or some vinyl to be able to decorate. Let's go ahead and get our materials in order and we'll get started. So our first step in assembling the FT dual entry is we're gonna pop out all the pieces. At that point, we're gonna identify them and then we'll start building. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Now that we have all our pieces popped out, let's go ahead and go through each individual part for the kit. So we have our main stand, we have our paddles, we have the A and B labeled brackets. Now these are really important that we get these in the right location. And that's why they're labeled for A and for B. We have our lower stand. We also have these three coffee stirs that are gonna act as basically bushings for our paddles to be able to go smoothly. And we have one long push rod that the paddles are gonna fasten to the stand with. Feel free to pause this video and make sure that you have everything that you see here. And then let's go ahead and put our attention towards the main stand and these brackets. Now, as you look down, right down the center here, you're gonna see a score cut. That score cut is gonna allow your stand to be able to fold over, but we don't wanna fold this open. We actually wanna fold this in on itself. A really easy way to be able to give yourself a double bevel without having to use the use of a razor blade is by using something like the end of a marker. Uh, for this case, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab the markers that we have in our crafty kit. It's kind of a triangle shape, which is pretty cool. And then we are not gonna do it with just one press. We're gonna do this with multiple swipes, but we're gonna go right down that score cut three or four times, giving a little bit more pressure each time until finally the end of the marker is touching the face of paper on the other side. You wanna make sure that you can easily fold this up at least 90 degrees before you stop crushing this down. So if it has any resistance, just go over it one more time and it should easily bend up for you. You're gonna notice that there's an A and B logo all the way down here. These are gonna directly correlate to the A's and B's on our actual brackets. You'll notice on our different A and B brackets here that the little holes for our pivots are in two different locations. These are really important because you wanna have these in the proper locations so the paddle, when it swings one way, once it crosses the halfway mark, it'll swing the other way. It does this by putting a slight angle in the pivot. So our first step here is we're gonna locate two A's here. We're gonna locate one on one side and one on the other. We're gonna use these basically as angle gauges. This will give the center pillar the proper angle, and then we can glue these brackets in. So once we go ahead and practice, I'm gonna lay this right over where the A is, on both the upper and the lower portion. We're gonna make sure that it easily folds up to that location. And at that point, we can come down and put a nice healthy bead of glue right down the middle. We'll go ahead and rotate this up once. There we go. Hold that there, and then we'll go to the very top, and I'm gonna hold that there. Once we have this angle established with our two brackets, hold this until the glue is fully dry, at least one to two minutes. Once we can let go of everything and the piece no longer opens up, the glue is dried, and we're ready to start gluing our brackets down in. Let's go ahead and first start with our A brackets, and then we'll move on to the B. These may kinda stick in with the very tip because we stuck that in the glue, and there's no problem with that. Our next step here is we're gonna take our A and we're gonna match it up with our A on every location. Let's go ahead and start from the top and we'll work our way down. All we need to do is apply a bead of glue. And when we place this in position, it's very important that we make sure that we line up so that the bracket is above or below the slot that's on both sides of the pillar. This is really important because if it's on the wrong side, it's gonna pinch the paddles and not let them move freely. So here you can see the line. The way that we're gonna mount this is we're gonna mount that just on the top side of that line. So we have our glue, there's your line. And we'll press it and hold it in place. There's one. All right, we're gonna do it again. Again, I'm matching A to A, and I'm making sure 
that my edge does not go right over the slot over here. All right, now that we have the A's glued down, let's go ahead and do the same thing with the B's. But once again, we're gonna make sure that we use this reference line to not allow our brackets to get in the way of the two slots on either side of the pillar. Do the same process on all the other bees as well. Now that we have our brackets installed, we're gonna install our lower base here. And all we need to do is simply slide this over. The back part of this is gonna be a little bit tight because we fold it in, but that'll give it the pressure we need and slide it all the way down. Now it's up to you if you want to choose to glue this in or if you just want to let this friction fit to make it easier to transport. Our main stand is now done. Now keep in mind, we can decorate this any way you see fit. And I know a lot of people in the micro drone and tiny world community love LEDs, love stickers. You can sticker bomb this. You can take our FT fatigues, make digital camo. You can paint it. You can do so many cool things. This is the opportunity to make it your own. But at this point, we can put this aside and we can put our attention towards the paddles. So for our FT dueling tree, we have three different paddles. It's round, square, and round. You can decorate these and make these your own, and we even include a random vinyl decal kit that gives you the ability to decorate them. We also, in our crafty kits, have really cool marker packs that have both blunt and wide edge tips on it that give you the ability to decorate, and it goes great with our foam. Before we decorate our paddles, we're gonna go ahead and take these coffee stirs, and we're gonna make these our new pivots. The easiest way to do this is to simply take a bead of glue. You don't have to do too much. Put it right down the middle, and we're gonna sit this right over, and stick it down. I like to hold this in place because the heat of the hot glue is gonna cause the coffee stir to wanna to move around. I just simply like to hold it, count about 15 or 20, I slide it back and forth, and hold it down again. We're gonna do the same process on all three paddles. Now that we have our coffee stirs and our pivots glued into our paddles, we're gonna go ahead and trim those to size. Now you may wanna just go ahead and trim these flush on both sides, but you actually don't wanna do that. You wanna to go to the top section, doesn't matter which one, go about a 16th or a millimeter up from it and cut that off. Do that on all three of your paddles. This is gonna be the top of each one of your paddles. Now we can go ahead and bring our dueling tree in and we're gonna hold this right up to the center slot and we're gonna press this up and you're gonna see that it's gonna leave just the exact amount, roughly an eighth of an inch. Come down right to the bottom and trim it off. You should have about a sixteenth of an inch gap in between the top and the bottom. Let's go ahead and do that on all three. Keep in mind that the spacing may be slightly different so you don't wanna just match it. Just custom fit it and trim it. Then finally, the very top. Now comes the fun part where we get to decorate the paddles. Keeping in mind that the short side is gonna be the top, we can take our random sticker pack or we can take our markers and we can make it our own. This would be a really good time if you're racing or you're in schools, you can put your team colors on there, you can put your logos on there, or if you're doing tiny whip races and things like that, time to sticker bomb. We include a really cool vinyl pack and what I like to do is I like to actually reverse one side or the other. And a really cool trick you can do is you can take the positive of one side, you can flip it over, and you can do the negative on the other side. All right, so there's one paddle and there's the other. Let's go ahead and do the same process on all these other ones and then we'll install them. 
Now that our paddles are all decorated, we're ready to attach them to the main pillar here. First thing we want to do is we're going to take our long push rod and we're going to start it through the hole. We're then going to take our very first paddle. We're going to snake up the first piece, pass it down through, and then let that bottom piece line up with the hole and with a little bit of a twisting motion, pop it through. You shouldn't see much resistance at all on one side or the other. Next, we'll go ahead and do our square paddle. Again, we're gonna pop it through the hole very carefully. Slide it up in alignment, slide it all the way down. And pop it through. Same process on the last one. Let's take it down about a quarter inch. Line up the top hole, line up the bottom, a little twisty motion, and pop it through. Now we can take this down the rest of the way here. And what I like to do is I like to just press it right in this brace that you see right here. And that'll hold everything in place very nicely. Now you don't have to glue this in at all because what will happen is say you want to take this away for storage, you can pull out the bottom base, you can even pull out this pin, store your paddle separately, or even interchange them as maybe they get beat up or old, or you want to change colors or styles. Our FT dueling tree is now complete. We're ready to take this out and test it. Now it's really important that you mount this on nice level ground because if it's tilted too much one way or the other, these paddles may not work properly. The proper way that these paddles should work is once it crosses over the halfway mark, you should see it fall to the other side, whichever side it fails. So in other words, we cross it over to the one side, same on the middle, and you can see they flow very easy and very free. Our dual entry is now done. Next step is to take it out and have some fun with it. Thanks so much for taking the time to build with me, and we'll see you in the next video.